Hi guys, it's Joe back here with another video for you guys. Now, with the E3 event nearly over for 2013, with a lot of disappointed fans of the Xbox One and Microsoft's approach to actually retailing the price and the games and the lies that circulate Microsoft's release of the brand new console, people were actually very uplifted and happy to see this new game, Rise, an Xbox One exclusive that might actually live up to the expectations of the gamer. Gamers even had something more happy to be about, being developed exclusively by the well-renowned company Crytek, this is setting out to be one of the best Xbox exclusives that we saw in E3. Fighting in the Rise Son of Rome is an immersive action-adventure story of struggle, brutality and heroism. You play as a fearless Roman soldier named Marius Titus, who in the end must embark on an epic journey to fight and save the Roman Empire. But enough blathering from me about this game, let's let you guys look at the trailer for yourselves. Enjoy. There once was a shining city on seven hills. A place of beauty and freedom. Then, freedom became corruption. Decadence and degradation. But the gods know what once was can be again. If a son of Rome were to rise. Now you might be thinking that doesn't really show us a lot about the game itself and it's just really a cinematic trailer to get people a bit pumped up before they showed us the gameplay at E3. But I'm going to talk up to you guys about the new fighting system and the kind of cinematic feel you have throughout the entire game, using connect to your advantage if you so choose, or to use the controller to call in certain artillery strikes, command your men, and even perform absolutely deadly and killer moves in a cinematic fashion, which does really make you feel awesome. If you don't believe me, then check out this clip where a guy gets his legs sliced off in midair. Fantastic clip in my opinion. Taking advantage of the next gen console's graphics and the diverse playing style and killer awesome moves with lots of blood and gore, something that Assassin's Creed adopted very well with killer cinematic moves has now been adopted by Rise. Using the brand new graphics, this is set to be one of the most gory, intense and fantastic fighters in the next gen console first release games. Now this game does not fall short of gruesome bits, in fact, straight away at the beginning of the mission or the demo that was shown at E3, we saw some pretty horrific sights, such as taking an arrow to the knee and taking an arrow straight through the eye. Very unlucky if you ask me, he was wearing a helmet, but you know, what can you do? In terms of cinematic awesomeness, it doesn't really get much better than that as of yet. The only things that gamers really liked about this game was the lack of storyline that was expressed in the E3 demo. However, as we get closer to the release date of this game, which I will be following for you guys, we will obviously see new and important information. It'd be interesting to see how they combine the realism, the gore, and the awesome cinematic feel of the game along with just the sheer volume of just awesomeness into a really fun and an enjoyable storyline, something that which will also be really important to make this game one of the best releases on the Xbox One starting from November or December. Not to mention the interactiveness with all the people around you such as your fellow soldiers to create shield walls and advance on your enemy, while hurling javelins through the air and spearing them in horrific ways, while being under fire constantly from other areas. This is really awesome, and if you don't believe me how awesome this really is and you haven't seen the gameplay, then I'll show you it right now. Shields! Hold! 
We are going to take out that tower then. Let's move. Among the despair shown by a lot of Microsoft's fans of the Xbox 360 at the Xbox One conference and all the information that's been released about it, about pre-owned games and all that crap which they're doing, which is totally wrong in my opinion, we did get this awesome game. And there's something which I'll be following for you guys and keeping you guys up to date with as we gain more information about this. Now a trailer was actually seen in 2010 I believe and released ages ago and it really did centre around Kinect. However I don't know if they've changed the focus of the game because of the next gen console which it seems they have with the controller. However it would be interesting to see how they really link Kinect and this fantastic brand new game where you can interact with your environment and have a cinematic battle through your own accord and actions, something which is really awesome. So let's hope that this developer and some of the other publishers and developers themselves can save Microsoft because I think they're going to be needing to uh, get as much help as they possibly can and from games like Rise it makes me want to buy the console, however I won't be splashing my dosh until I get some better offers. But thank you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you have don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, I will bring you guys more information as we go along. I'll